Good morning, children. Good morning. How are you all? How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Enjoying at home? Studying at home? Very good. So, good morning and welcome back in your EVS class. Today, uh, you all know, children, that we have already started a new chapter, chapter number 9. We have already started chapter number 9 and we have also done the video number 1. And what we have learned in that video? What we have learned in the video number 1? We have learned that and the name of the chapter was In the Sky. We have learned about the sky, what is a sky and what are the things present in sky. Okay, we have already discussed now. So, what is a sky? I have already told you. Let's rewind it. That a sky where we can see everything which is above us. Whatever we uh, see above us, outside. Okay, you, that is a sky. Whatever the things that are present above us in the sky. Whatever the things. Okay, they are called the sky. Okay, everything whichever we see above us. The things, everything, whatever we see above us is a sky. Okay, so I have already told you in that video that there are many things present in the sky. Okay, I have also told that there are many things present in the sky. So, what are the things? So, today in this video, I am going to tell you about the things. What are the different things what you see in the sky? Okay, so let's begin it. So children, this is the chapter number 9 in the sky and it's a second video of chapter number 9. Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn that what are the different things, what are the different things that we see in the sky. Okay, so the first thing which we see in the sky is that I will not tell you, you have to tell me, I will give you some clues and you have to recognize it. So, you all are ready? Good children. So, tell me that uh, uh, when you sleep at night, okay, when you sleep at night and when you get up early in the morning, what you see in the sky? What do you see in the sky when you get up early in the morning? Correct. You see the sun. You see the sun. And can you tell me that uh, how it's a sun? Uh, means what are the uh, what two features can you tell me about the sun? Come on. Sun is very big. Very good. And another. Sun gives us light. Very good. So the first thing which we see in the sky is the sun. So children, I will also show you the picture of sun. See this? What is this? It is the picture of the sun. So this is a sun. This is the sun. So this sun is a very big ball of fire, children. This sun is the big ball of fire. This sun is the big ball of fire. And what does the sun gives us? This sun gives us heat and light. Because the sun is very far away. Okay, the sun is very far away and it is very big in size. It is a big ball of fire. Okay, it gives you heat and light. Because it's when you go, see suppose students, when you are standing outside or in your garden or somewhere or if you are on the road, if you are in the playground and there is a bright sun shining in the sky. Can you feel the heat of that? Heat of the sun, when it's a summer season, you feel the heat of the sun now because it's very hot. So that's why the sun everywhere, now also you can see outside from your windows that the sun is shining brightly and it is giving everywhere, it's a given, giving light. And light is also very, it gives us heat and light and it is very hot. So the sun... The sun is very is a big ball of fire and it gives us heat and light. You can see the smiling face of the sun, children. Yes. And when does it shine? It shines in the sky during the day. Okay? The sun shines in the sky during the day. In the daytime, you can see the sun, but but 
but when it is when the sun rises children when you are sleeping at night in your home and when you get up early in the morning the sun rises yes the sun rises so when the sun rises what happens it's a day it's a day the sun is rising everywhere it is light okay it is light everywhere you can see everything uh, near your neighbors on the road who are moving who are not moving people shops you can see in the home i uh, means outside because of the heat because of the light of the sun because it is a day okay and when the sun sets okay when the sun sets it is night okay so when the sun sets it is night so children when the sun sets okay you all are you all are clear with the point when the sun rises when the sun rises it is day and when the sun sets it is night what it is night so we have already done about the sun now when the sun nights begin what do you see in the sky at night correct you see moon and stars very nice children very nice you see moon and stars so i'll show you the smiling face of the moon see that's a moon yes children it's a moon the smiling face of the moon so the moon you see in the sky at night so this i think you all have made the night sky you all have made the night sky na you also have made the night sky in the black chart paper yes so this is the moon and you see this moon at night okay so now you know children that it appears in the sky you also see one sleeping moon see this moon it's sleeping yes you see it it's a half moon you know na the sa, the moon uh, means the uh, size of the moon keeps on increasing every day the shape of the moon also increasing the size is same but the shape of the moon keep on increasing means the shapes of the moon keeps on changing so after that it becomes the full moon the it is become a full moon and it appears to change its shape every night every night the moon changes its shape now when when you are when you see in the sky it is very uh, thin in size then every day it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger it changes its shape it changes its shape and finally the moon becomes full moon okay children so one more thing about the moon that the moon is smaller than the sun okay are you all clear the sun and this is the moon so this moon is smaller than sun this moon is smaller than sun and moon shines in the night sky and you also know children the sun is a big ball of fire but but when the sun sets the moon comes out yes the moon you can see in the night so moon does not have its own light yes children you are thinking moon also shines at night in the at night so moon also has its own light no moon does not have its own light see and nothing go away you already have learned in the poem moon and stars in english yes so all the moon and stars are gone away means all the moon and stars are gone away then means the moon shines with the light of the sun the moon shines with the light of the sun so moon does not have its own light clear so children the sun is a big ball of fire i am revising all the things what we have learned now the sun it's a big ball of fire okay it gives us heat and light and it shines in the day and when the sun rises it is when the sun rises it is day and when the sun sets it is 
night and what do you see at night you see moon and this you see no na you see moons and stars so moon keeps on changing its shape every night moon changes its shape and finally it becomes a smile um, becomes a full moon okay children have you understood now everyone please open your course book of evs we will do the reading of the course book okay children fast so i hope children you all have opened the book course book page number 67 and now come on pay attention and listen to me the sun the sun is a big ball of fire i already told you this is a sun and it is a very big and it is a round in shape and it is a big ball of fire children okay the sun is a big ball of fire it gives us heat and light yes it gives us heat and light yes it shines in the sky during the day only in the day you can see now also you can see outside the sky in outside your window that in the sky there is a sun shining brightly when the sun rises it is day when the sun sets it is night clear now moving ahead with moon see the picture of moon just now i showed you the picture of moon now yes so now see the moon is smaller than the sun yes this moon is smaller than the sun moon is smaller than the sun it shines in the night sky it appears to change its shape every night you know children the shape of the moon keeps on changing every night okay now you can see like this after that it can be it becomes a full moon just now i showed you in the uh, picture also na that see this uh, moon this moon changes its shape every night and every night it changes 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 and finally it becomes the full moon and finally it becomes a full moon okay yes now see i wish i knew sunrise this is called the sunrise okay early in the morning sunrise is the time when the sun first appears in the sky what is the first thing that you see in the sky early in the morning sunrise okay and sunset this is a sunset okay sunset is the time when the sun sets and night begins okay now have you all understood now in the checkpoint everyone take a pencil in your hand we will do the checkpoint 1 okay be ready use the words sun and moon to answer these okay so you have to just write the names of either sun or moon by the sentences it gives us heat and light who gives us heat and light sun so we will write here sun everyone write with me number b it shines in the sky who shines in the sky moon correct right there moon it is a big ball of fire who is the big ball of fire yes sun sun is the big ball of fire it is smaller than the sun i also told you this who is smaller than the sun correct moon moon is smaller than the sun number e last one it appears to change its shape every night moon very good i think you all have understood children so all of you write the answers correctly in your course book everyone and read about the sun and moon at home okay try to understand it okay now let's do the class work time everyone open your maths class work uh, evs class work copy put your today's date class work heading chapter name okay what is the sun answer the sun is a big ball of fire which gave us heat and light okay children number 2 what happens when the sun rises and sets answer when the sun rises it is day 
and when the sun sets it is night i already discussed now okay number 3 what is smaller than the sun who is smaller than the sun what is smaller than the sun yes moon answer is moon is smaller than the sun okay next one the last one what changes its shape every night who changes its shape every night yes absolutely correct moon changes its shape every night so children you all write these questions and answers in your copy very nicely and correctly with a very good handwriting and all of you will write it take your own time write it nicely okay now i hope there is incomplete without homework so what's your homework look here you have to draw a picture of the sun and the moon and color it okay you all will draw the moon and the sun in your evs class work copy and color them nicely see children ma'am has also drawn na see this ma'am has also drawn the picture of the sun and also the picture of the moon and color it nicely okay have you all understood so bye bye children we will meet again in the new video bye bye